so uh, very good morning everyone in this video i am going to discuss about clinical trials uh, actually what the tri clinical trials are so uh, as in earlier we have discussed about animal studies that we considered as a preclinical means before the clinical so uh, as its name indicate it's related to clinic and the clinic is related to human so uh, the any investigation done on human being we consider it as a clinical trial so as per the definitions clinical trial is any investigations conducted on human being intended to provide adequate information on drug or device used as a therapeutic agents on its safety efficacy and adverse effect so uh, that is the standard definitions of clinical trials and uh, uh, many students have uh, uh, confusion regarding whether the food supplement uh, if they want to check the effects of food supplements so whether they will consider it as a clinical trial or not yes if suppose you would like to uh, see the effects of uh, uh, vitamin c or any antioxidant or iron supplementations on particular parameters so you uh, we have to consider it as a clinical trial that is a clinical under clinical trials so don't be confused if we are using any investigations we will consider it as a drug uh, when we are checking the effect of uh, any food supplements on that particular markers so uh, there is a gold standard is randomized control trial randomizations i hope you know and randomizations means in which the subjects are allocated uh, randomly they can receive either one of the different clinical interventions so a type of clinical trial in which subjects are allocated as random to receive one of the several different clinical interventions that we call randomizations and the major objective of randomizations is to reduce the biasness in the studies so uh, you don't uh, know which subjects is getting which one rct that's why rct randomized uh, clinical trial or control trials are the old standard when we are doing any clinical trial we are uh, doing randomized control trials uh, unless and until if there is any uh, there is no uh, particular requirement to do that one then you can do without randomization just to see that so the question is why we have to test uh, the new chemical entities uh, after doing all preclinical studies in human uh, why we are not putting these new chemical after testing in animals why we are not putting that uh, particular drug directly into the market uh, there are many reasons but a uh, 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 major reason is species difference there is a uh, difference uh, between the animals and humans uh, some effect we can only absorb in the human if we are putting directly that molecule on the basis of animal studies into the market then large number of populations will be affected if that uh, product will result into any ADRs or any serious area so a large number of populations will be affected uh, another one is there is a correlation of effect in animal and human is always not possible as you all know so that's why man is a final experimental animal uh, to be tested uh, uh, in, uh, when we would like to uh, get any market approval of any uh, particular uh, drug or new chemical entity. So uh, why this man, uh, as I told you earlier also, because in phase one clinical trial, we are using healthy human volunteers, uh, and particularly male are preferred. We are excluding the woman. So that's why man is the final experimental animals to be tested. So uh, this is about general discussions. Uh, there are different types of clinical trials. Uh, don't be confused among types and uh, phases. When uh, generally when we are asking about the types of clinical trial, many students are writing phase zero, phase one, phase two, phase three. Uh, that are the uh, different phases of clinical trial, not the types of clinical trial. If question is asked on types of clinical trial, you have to write uh, treatment trial, prevention trial, early detections, diagnostic or quality of life trials, not uh, the phase 0, phase 1, phase 2. That are the different phases. So treatment trial, as its name indicates, uh, any things which, uh, uh, whether it is a new chemical entity, biological product or anything, which we are using for the treatment of that particular disease that we will consider uh, that trial as a treatment trial. Prevention trial, if we are using any things to prevent uh, that particular disease uh, or development of that particular disease uh, that we consider as a prevention trial. Uh, early detection and screening trials uh, we are doing uh, when we uh, would like to develop any methods by which we can screen uh, a group of populations uh, for particular disease that is that type of trial we will consider as a early detection or screening trial. 
diagnostic trials is particularly when we would like to uh, uh, claim that this diagnostic test uh, uh, for that particular uh, diagnosis of that particular disease is more efficacious uh, you are claiming it's more efficacious than the existing di diagnostic test for that particular disease so we will consider it as a diagnostic trial where you want to compare uh, whatever the diagnostic kit uh, if you have developed uh, any new diagnostic kit uh, for the diagnosis of particular disease then you have to be uh, considered then we are considering it as a diagnostic trial quality of life or supportive care these are the trials particularly in a life treating disease or in a cancer where we would like to see uh, the effect of treatment not only on the uh, uh, biomarkers or improvement but we want to see uh, after giving the treatment uh, 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 how much life expectancy of a patient has been increased so that we call quality of life means how much quality of life is increased after giving the treatment so these are the different types of clinical trials uh, phases of clinical trial. In next video, I will uh, discuss about phases of clinical trial. Uh, what are the different phases in much more detail? So, thank you.